Okay, so today's native plant is Thuja occidentalis. Now this species is native to the northeastern United States as well as the midwestern United States. This species usually grows in swamps in the wild, but this thing will grow literally anywhere, uh, especially if it's planted. It can grow in the worst clay soil, which it's growing in right now with just a little bit of mulch under on it, but even under that mulch, it's just really crappy, dry clay soil, and it's thriving right here. Um, so these can grow in the worst conditions. They're really cold hardy, and this is actually in the family Cupersaceae. So it's actually related to junipers. It's actually related to California redwoods, and it's related to Taxodium disticum, also known as the bald cypress and the normal cypress. Uh, so it's related to a lot of interesting plants. So interestingly, this in the wild usually grows in swamps. Well, uh, bald cypress, Taxodium discum, also grows in swamps. So that's pretty interesting, probably because they're related. Anyway, uh, this is an evergreen. It's very cold hardy. Um, it's also very hardy in general to what soil it grows in, moisture, all that stuff. It can grow literally, like I said, literally anywhere. I've seen this growing in the UP, uh, literally on rock, like literal like limestone. So they weren't very big, but they were surviving on literal limestone. So they can grow on the worst of the worst soil. In fact, really not even soil at that point. Um, but yeah, there are male and female trees. And this is not related to pines. This is in the family Cupersaceae. It's not in the family Pinaceae. It's a separate family, separate lineage of plants. This is uh, its own lineage. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a native plant. It's beautiful. Um, it's commonly planted. Also, I don't really like um, cultivars. There's a common cultivar, which is short, compact. It's like a bush version of this plant. Uh, it's d basically a domesticated form of this plant. And uh, we call it Arbovites. It's actually the same species. Um, well, I don't really like the cultivars because cultivars, you, you know, do something unnatural. You make the plant a way that it, it's not in nature and that often weakens the plant and it also takes away its context and it's um you can't see it you know the way it truly evolved and so i really don't like cultivars very much um and to be honest they usually look kind of tacky you know like seeing something that's like of any plant you know like seeing a purple or a yellow plant that just looks super unnatural just kind of looks stupid to be honest um you know, wild plants are much stronger than cultivars. They're much more natural and you get a sense of the way it evolved. Um, and so I, I personally really like, um, you know, plants that are genetically wild or at least close to genetically wild. This doesn't appear to be a cultivar. These were planted here, but they don't seem to be super domesticated. These look super similar to the ones I've seen in the wild in this case, but like the uh, short bush version that people commonly use as like a natural privacy fence. Those are definitely highly domesticated. Um, they get way bigger than that in the wild and they spread out more. They don't grow compact and stuff like that. Anyway, just wanted to show you guys that. Hope you guys got something out of that and uh, yeah.